Today we're going to look at the extraordinary vessels, okay? And um, normally when I teach, I do lecture, I demonstrate techniques, and then I supervise students practicing. But today it's much more theoretical, so I'm going to have to stand here and talk most of the day. Um, we will do a few demonstrations, um, but the, <coughs> the topic itself is much more to do with history, the nature of what we're talking about, um, trying to understand possible origins, um, deeper functions, etc. And I chose this topic because the conference organizer, Christian, he wrote to me like two years ago and asked me, would you please write an essay about the extraordinary vessels in embryology to publish in our How Practica journal? And I thought, oh my God, what a horrible topic. <laughs> God. And then I thought, well, actually, it's not so bad, because I did write about it a lot almost 30 years ago. And maybe I can collect my thoughts from 30 years ago. So anyway, I wrote this article, which is available in the Hyopractica Journal, is it Chi? Is that the one? In German. So there's a German version of some of what I'm saying today available um, from the journal. Um, the English version, um, I haven't published the English version, so it's just like text with a couple of illustrations. It's not, so it's not really... Um, anyway, if anybody wants a copy of that paper, the English version, you write your name on and, and give me your email address legibly and I'll send you a copy, okay? Um, I'm sorry I didn't post anything online because I've been traveling a lot and I didn't get a chance to collect myself to do that. And also, um, well, you'll see in a moment, I have written rather a lot about the extraordinary vessels, and um, I would hope that some of the things I have to say, if you're interested, you actually might buy one of the books. <laughs> Could be interesting. Anyway, um, I've been practicing since 1982. My first teacher was Tin Yao So, Tin Yao So was an old Chinese gentleman who started the first acupuncture school in the US. And um, studying with him was very interesting because he had no theory. He was very pragmatic. This works, learn it, do it, it'll work. That was it. No theory. No formal diagnoses. And then uh, after studying with him for a year, my next teacher was Ted Kapchuk. And this was before his first book was published, before the, the um, Web That Has No Weaver was published. So um, we got this, all this preliminary TCM theory, and lots and lots and lots of wonderful details. So the intellectual gap of what we'd not learned from the first teacher was now being filled by what we were learning from Ted. And then in the second year, we started practical stuff. And one of the practical things was we were needling each other. And I discovered to my horror, the first time I was needled, I fainted. And the second time I was needled, I fainted. In fact, every time I was needled, I fainted. And I thought, these needling techniques are disgusting. There's something wrong with this stuff. I mean, that's my nervous system clunk. That's my nervous system clunk. And the teachers were upset with me. My colleagues, my fellow students didn't like needling me. I didn't like being needled. I eventually started realizing, I don't know that I can practice acupuncture. This stuff really doesn't feel right. And then at, at, towards the end of the second year, um, Kiko Matsumoto, who had literally just finished school in, in Tokyo and moved to Boston because her sister lived in Boston, um, somebody had introduced her and to come, asked her to come in and do an, a Friday evening lecture. So she came in and did a Friday evening lecture introducing Japanese acupuncture techniques. And when she asked to demonstrate, I stupidly ran up and gave her my hands. And she needled me and I didn't faint. I'm going to do this stuff. So although um, I learned TCM, I've never practiced it. I learned that Tin Yao So um, pre-TCM style of Chinese acupuncture. I'd never practiced it. I've only ever really practiced Japanese acupuncture techniques. So a lot of what I'm going to say today is colored by my experience from practicing those techniques, not Chinese techniques, okay? 